a peanut allergy, been at a party today with his friends, and um, might have eaten something. Okay. Um, and man's concerned he's not very well. Okay. He does look a bit red. Yeah. 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 He's sounding weak. Is that yeah. right? Yes, it is. He is asthmatic. Um, yeah. He's got an epipen. Just um, um, yeah. But it's like he hasn't had no anaphylaxis or anything with his peanut allergy. Okay. But this is given to us purely for the last day. Today? No. No. Okay. It sounds like he's having an allergy to a, possibly a peanut and a cake. Okay. Isn't it? So the first thing we should do um, before we're going to give him this epipen. Okay. okay. Um, so. Let's have a look, Charlie. I'm just going to pop these trousers down a wee bit and we're going to give you this injection. So, short scratch. Just hold that for 10 seconds, hold like a bit. Oh, well, you have sat to 85, I'll get some oxygen. Thank you very much. It's okay, okay, so that's 10 seconds. Would you mind rubbing that for me, Mum? Brilliant. Okay, so now we've had that, let's start at A. Might be a little frightening now, okay, but we might do the best thing. Okay. So there's no strides over there at the moment, and no one needs swelling. But oh. like that. It's okay, Charlie. Sat at 84, Charlie, but we've got our option. Let's listen to this, Jess. It's very reasonable, I'm like yeah, you said. Yeah, Okay, so Charlie sounds very wheezy, um, so we've got the option for the SAS, which is great. Would you mind getting us a nebulizer? Yeah, we'll take some salt and some off. Brilliant, so let's move on to see. So we've got a heart rate there, which feels about right. And let's get that blood pressure as well. It's going to go tight on your arm, Charlie. Bottom to the right place, Mum, okay, we'll get him sorted and start. Just a different mask, it'll be a bit noisy. Right, okay. Just blow some mist in your face there, Charlie. Okay, so that blood pressure looks a little bit low for what I'd expect, so I think some fluid would be great. But before we get some fluid, we'll just need some IV access. Mm -hmm. If we can do that, that'd be brilliant. So we'll get some if needle in his arm so we can give him some fluid to make him okay. feel a bit better. Alright, Charlie, how are you feeling? Not very nice, is it? No, you don't feel well. Okay. I'm going to try and you up. Yeah. Okay. I'm lighting your eyes, Charlie. I'll just take some fluids off while we're getting the access and clearing the gas. Brilliant. We'll get the gas then off. Okay, so he seems awake and um, still trying to just oh, What on earth? I'm sorry, that needle in your arm. Yeah. Okay. Some fluid? Some fluid would be brilliant, yeah. Let's check. Do you know how much Charlie weighs? 20 kilos. 20 kilos, yeah. okay. So yeah, that's the rib rollers, just at the bottom there, 400 mils, because it weighs 20 kilos. Yep. And we've had a sardine tomorrow, and we've had our adrenaline. So we'll get that fluid going through, and then we'll just reassess again. Starting with, starting with A from the beginning. So looking, and not much swelling there. I still can't hear any active strider, but we'll have a listen to his, listen to his chest again. Okay. Okay. Chest is good. Brilliant, thank you. His chest isn't overly better, but those saturations have come up a little bit. And um, that is still a little bit high, but now we have that fluid for us. Let's see if this blood pressure is any better. That's just going to go tight again, Charlie. Let's just do a capillary refill while we're here. Um, this central refill is a bit prolonged, about three seconds at the moment, so hopefully that fluid will do something. Blood pressure's still a little bit low, but coming up um, from before. I don't think there's been a marked improvement to what I'd expect, so I think a second dose of adrenaline would be brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, his hand is first one from the epipen, but if we can draw up 0.2 mils, that would be great. Thank you. So we're going to get him some more adrenaline, just another injection, and the second dose is to try to see it after five minutes if there's not much improvement. Okay. Um, but he's got his nebulizer, and then we can start to think about some other treatments. Brilliant. I'm sorry, Charlie, just another injection here. There's a injection there. I'm sorry, Mum's going to rub your leg.
the softer A. Sounds good, it sounds like no striving, doesn't look swollen at all at the moment. Boom saturations are much better with an option of a nebulizer. Yeah. Let's listen to your chest. Well, it sounds a little bit better, yeah. Good. good. Much less easy now. Okay. And we've had our fluid bowl, so that seems to have done the trick with his blood pressure as well. Let's check centrally. Okay, a little bit better, only two seconds now. So things generally seem to have improved yeah. uh, with all the treatment he's had. He's definitely going to need about four to six hours on the paediatric ward, and some time with them just for some observation right. um, with them. So I'm going to go and give them a call. Okay. While I'm calling them, Rachel, would you mind getting us a couple more medications that mm -hmm. we need? So just some chlorphenamine, um, so an antihistamine, and some hydrocortisone, so a steroid as well. We'll get those treatments and then we'll get them settled okay. on the ward shortly. Okay. I'll give you some ring. Okay, okay. Any thank you for your help. No, thank you. you. See you soon, Charlie.